what's going on how are you guys doing good man good that's good that's good uh <laughs> super exciting <laughs> sorry <laughs> I was like, hey, okay. <laughs> Just yeah. crickets. Yeah. So, so everybody, this is Eddie and my new boy, Christopher, and my new boy, Eddie. I haven't done very much podcast with him except for one. I don't know why I say random crap like that along the sides. This is the uh, start of season two. I didn't tell you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Okay, this cool. Is, this is yeah. the first episode. Um, why don't we kick it off by Christopher? You tell us a little bit about your podcast. All right. So I host a small podcast called Curing Curiosity. I just talk about whatever really pops into my head. I'll be honest. It's just really random topics of interest. Sometimes I'll discuss it with a guest. Sometimes alone. That's basically the plot of it. Wow. I have actually listened to it and I can vouch that it is funny and it is good. So yes, listen to that. Eddie, what have you got in store for us? Yo, what's going on, guys? This is your boy. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Uh, how's it going, guys? My name is Eddie. Uh, I run uh, a podcast called The Table Talks Podcast, where I interview a bunch of people. I play random games. I do a big mod podge of a bunch of different things. Um, we play a lot of like thought provoking things. We uh, talk about you know heartfelt stuff. We also laugh a ton. And I've been doing like a lot of interviews recently with a bunch of people like from Europe and asia which has been really cool so check me out i'm on spotify uh apple Podcasts, basically anywhere you can find podcasts and yeah that's that's kind of it i've actually had chris on my show and sammy on my show so it's been pretty cool wow that's what i'm talking about collaboration migration you know what i'm saying (laughs) exactly (laughs) parsley you know you know what i'm talking about (laughs) Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to put this out there. I didn't know that Chris and Eddie knew each other beforehand. They were both complete strangers to me before today. (laughs) So that's kind of a shock, but it's a small world, isn't it? Um, It's funny, man. It is. Yeah. Um, (laughs) I was just, okay. (laughs) I just didn't That's really weird. Okay. The first game we're playing is everybody's favorite. I'm sure you guys are going to love this. It's called Slide Ride for the people that don't know. Uh, I give them a Google Slides presentation by sharing my screen and they have to present what's on the Google Slides, whether uh, they like it or not, because they have no choice. And we're going to have Christopher go first. (laughs) Are you ready, Christopher, to enlighten us? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me figure out how to share my screen. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) There we go. All right, Christopher, let me. Oh, God. (laughs) And whenever you want me to go to the next slide, just go ahead and say next slide or give me a pause or something. And Eddie, you can jump in at any time, any time, any time just to like be a heckler or something. Um, (laughs) Just asking random questions for outside. What about this? This is great. All right. So go ahead, Christopher. Take it away, man. All right, guys, today I'm going to be talking about something that I have actually um, done with personally. I don't know how to phrase that properly, but personally, I've I've dealt with this. So how to deal with bullies. Interesting, right? (laughs) Dad? (laughs) (laughs) So obviously, what the first step you want to do is obviously tranquilize them and kidnap them and bring them back to your garage. Because that's the (laughs) most important step. And then gather all your friends around and then get wasted <laughs> why not <laughs> and then after like a few drinks because you know you're a guy or if you're a girl just like why not equality yeah <laughs> you want you to take um, a few rolls of duct tape probably <laughs> bought from your local home depot and spent like about ten dollars on and duct tape your, the bully to the local pole that's right on top of your garage of course local local pole. <laughs> Oh my god. This goes straight <laughs> right. The local poll. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. You just want oh god. <laughs> <laughs> my precious. <laughs> obviously, the most important step after that, obviously everybody should know this. Just find a cat that looks exactly like Schmeagle uh, for the wonderings. <laughs> And give them all of your loonies, all of your $1 coins or $1 bills if you live in America or whatever the currency is that you live in. I currently live in Canada, so we have loonies. 
and just give them all to the the Schmeagle cat, and <laughs> it'll all be safe. Don't worry. It, it won't. The cat won't eat it or like anything to it. It'll keep it safe. That's like the safest way to store all your money, obviously. Yeah, that's the face of safety right there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Oh. Uh, I like this step. I like this step. Now, obviously, your, your bully will eventually wake up and realize where they are. And now, once they manage to make their escape <laughs> off the, the 50 rolls of duct tape you bought off the local pole, <laughs> yeah, local pole. you want to set some traps. You don't want them to escape, like, all in one piece, do you? No, take some Legos. Already annoying to step on. Now, merge it with a nail. Also annoying to step on. Combine the two. <laughs> annoying. There you annoying. go. You have the perfect trap. Just lay them all across your floor. Build a nice pathway. And hopefully just a bunch of bruises and bleeding. And there you go. And then your bully cannot <laughs> walk anymore. <laughs> okay. So I want to tell you about a personal experience. Of my, <laughs> my life is weird. So... Back, back when I was out in elementary school, when I was a nice five-year-old in kindergarten and the youngest in my class, I was on the playground at school, and this kid named Kank, not their actual name, don't worry, protecting them for safety reasons, you know who you are, and this kid, Kank, shoved me to the ground. Just what the hell, man? And so... <laughs> and... This, this frustrated me so much that the next day, my five-year-old brain managed to come up with this. Believe this. This is a true story. When he wasn't look at, look, looking, what, I can't speak. Uh, when he wasn't looking, turn away for just a second, talking to his, one of his friends or teachers. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. I managed to rig up a bunch of explosives and just shoved it in his backpack. And then once he was off to, off to class, I hit the remote and I blew up his backpack. When he was wearing it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get any repercussion yeah. for that, obviously. <laughs> I was a nice kid. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. <laughs> Is this kink? <laughs> That's kink. <laughs> Soon after that explosion, he did go to the hospital. And I did, unfortunately, have to say sorry. But I did you know, smack him in the face a few times afterwards. But something incredible <laughs> happened. After he came out of the hospital, after like, 50 years um <laughs> <laughs> of course that's over exaggeration how about 50 months um he then became the human magnet honestly like after you blow up somebody's backpack while they're still wearing it they obviously turn into a, an electromagnetism magnet whatever you like to call it and then they can able to carry spoons on their bodies and i think that's a phone i can't tell <laughs> now i have a question for you sir did yes. Did he put spoons on himself because you and him spooned? Or what was the deal with that? <laughs> no, he's just really interested in spoons and spooning. Interesting. <laughs> and also there's a fork there. <laughs> just one little fork. Mm, he also okay. likes forks. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, what happens next is you might be walking across the street after dealing with your bully. And it's time to think about what you've done. And then you sit at a bus stop and then talk to a Mario plushie with no hat and ask him about his day, what's going wrong, like if his job's doing well, what's happening with Luigi, if he's still alive, um, and just talk with him, have a nice conversation, waiting for the bus, and then just empty out your soul to Mario, the, 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 the depressing now, looking Mario. Where's his hat at? Do you know where his hat's at or what's the deal with that? Uh, probably with the princess doing stuff. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and what you want to do is after uh, 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 bleh, bleh. <laughs> going on the bus you want to go to the local pet store and obviously pick yourself up a turtle they're the best and then right next to the local pet store uh, is the local hardware store obviously god it's the perfect place to put those two things so you want to get yourself a butterfly knife the most versatile weapon that you can easily cut yourself with if you don't use it properly. And then go back to your local Home Depot, spend another $10 on a roll of duct tape, and Very duct specific. tape the switchblade <laughs> to the turtle. And there you go. You have a mobile weapon. And if anybody questions you, just say that's your pet turtle, Bert. I don't know. <laughs> Bert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see you. Mm-hmm. 
Let's skip this one. There we go. <laughs> Right. All right, Go ahead. that's all Is for that it? It? Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'll be here never again. <laughs> hey, I have a I have a question for you though. Yeah. Your bully's name was Kank. What happens about my bully? His name is Spank. Spank. I think they know each other actually. <laughs> oh, no. What about his cousin Plank? <laughs> Ten. Plank's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was very informative, uh, Christopher. I'm glad. I'm glad that I, you know, I won't get bullied anymore after listening to that. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, Eddie. Do you think you have what oh, it takes? <laughs> I was born, Eddie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Let me. All right. You're gonna be telling us about this. I'll let you soak it in. Oh, <laughs> how's it going, guys? Welcome to uh, my little uh, Ed talk, if you will. Um, today, I'm talking about how to live on a budget. Uh, you know, something that I that I had to go through <sighs> yesterday. Um, anyway, but here we go. Um, next slide. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. So uh, you ever like you ever walk and you get those cuts on your feet and you're going, well, I spent. Fifty dollars on these Nikes, right? Fifty dollars, and you know, let's just say your neighbor's a baker. Let's just say that you know you're getting cold sores, you're getting cuts. Why not toss the Nikes and get two fresh baguettes? You're supporting the family next door, right? You're also getting some soft, rather, rather, rather hard shoes. Um, I would recommend not wearing uh, an old bed sheet as your shorts but that's totally none of my business um excuse me i yeah, have a question know, real quick sorry oh here I'm we sorry, go Robin. what's going on are, are those the nicest pair of loafers you own <laughs> <laughs> nice good pun good pun um it's really just it, it's it's seasoning the bread um and it's it's making organic <laughs> garlic bread right there so it's really uh, oh. <laughs> he's getting that dough isn't he yeah oh yeah he's getting it uh, we can go next slide. Oh, oh my God. So, so you ever go, I want, I don't know what, what the deal is with this, but I guess bread's cheap because. <laughs> gotta make that bread. <laughs> you gotta make that bread. But if you, if you're lacking that bread, then you gotta get the other bread. Right. And so <laughs> when, when times get <laughs> tough, I don't even know how to describe this. When times get tough, <laughs> add an extra piece of bread. Maybe it'll keep you keep you more full i don't know if they can see what i can see but this is <laughs> they could not <laughs> oh this is like a this is a but why don't you describe what it is yeah <laughs> so you ever see like a like a, it's like a triangle sandwich with uh, it looks like a piece of this is not really a budget this is like over excess <laughs> you don't do this how about this is how not to live on a budget uh don't put three pieces of bread in a sandwich because i don't just don't do it next slide please oh my goodness <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> so noodles are <laughs> they're cheap but not cheap enough <laughs> so i would say you know your next door neighbor is a, bar a baker your other next door neighbor is this dude named kank so i would say <laughs> i would say lure homeboy into you know the the local pole and uh, when he's not looking <laughs> i'd shave off some hair throw some pasta on it and then take it to Olive Garden and have them put cheese on until you tell them to stop. <laughs> because honestly, that's going to be your best bet. A lot of fiber. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then obviously like, you know, you're eating this, this hair spaghetti, but you know, mm. if you need a fork, you can go to Kank because Kank's a magnet. So yes. <laughs> he's got long hair, doesn't he? He's got, you know, Kank, <laughs> Kank's got more than just long hair. He's got issues, um, you know, but that's, that's for another slide. Um, oh, I love angel hair pasta. <laughs> so I want to let you guys know that living on a budget is incredibly beneficial. Um, and what it does is it teaches you, you know, money saving skills, mm. teaches you how to save your money, right? Uh, which, I mean, if you want to say it in a different way, it would teach you how to spend less. I don't know. Um, it teaches you also how to conserve financially. And teaches you how to lose less money. <laughs> now, all that sounds the same, but like the question, the big question, and like neon lights is, are they? But 
The answer is yes. <laughs> I just wanted to sound fancy and like, because I'm hella cool. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Anyways, let's go back to the next slide. You're so stupid. Okay. So, <laughs> so is that kink? There's, been a, there's been a lot of bread. There's been a lot of bread in these slides. And I want to let you know you need to get your meat in. And now, <laughs> how, do I, how do I say it? How do I say this? Um, you know how babies cry. Uh, and they're really annoying. Well, they've got a lot of meat in their butts. So I would say, I would say, uh, you know, eat, eat up, eat a baby sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> eat a baby sandwich. It's, it's, it's expensive. I wouldn't, I don't know. This is, <laughs> do you have any questions for me, Chris? I'm struggling. Right uh, now. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> One question. Do you like to season the baby before you put in the sandwich or? Yeah. So I would say, you know, I'd, I'd slathered in some Gerber puree, maybe some, uh, some fruit, <laughs> some fruit conservatives. I don't know. It's just, it's important. You're getting a lot of nutrition by eating a baby. You're uh, eating bones. You're, which has, uh, I don't know. Uh, it sounds terrible. Uh, uh, yeah. Whose baby it's all, is that? It's, who knows? Maybe, maybe kinks. <laughs> it came from the local pole, the local pole. So uh, it's, it's really just up for grabs. Um, and then, and unfortunately you grabbed it. So, is it boneless? <laughs> oh yeah. Is it it's, alive? It's, an ex- it's an excuse. It's basically a boneless chicken wing, which is basically a chicken nugget. Um, but yeah, eat a chicken nugget sandwich. Uh, next slide. Please. Oh my God. <laughs> and so what I would, oh, what I would say when you're, when you're trying to budget, um, really you got to free the nipples and I would say cut the circles out allow your, your nipples to breathe and that can make, you know, so I don't know. Or aerodynamic. It can make you some, some ear, some earmuffs. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, this is, oh man. Um, yeah. Just let, 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 let the nips free. I don't, I don't know. Let, let them, let them live. Uh, next slide. <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, cell phone bills. That's like a big thing with people nowadays is they, mm-hmm. Are paying too much for a cell phone, and why? Why have a cell phone when you can you have a hot dog? Um, phone, hot phone. Uh, <laughs> just don't, just don't, you know, don't get a phone because the bills are too expensive. And you, like I said, seventeen different times, uh, save money, spend less money, <laughs> conserve financially. It's like now, um, would you rather pay your phone bills or you rather pay your hot dog bills? Uh, financially speaking good question chris good question from the back uh i would say i'd rather pay a hot dog bill because it's you know you could buy a pack of 12 for less than a dollar um you know but who knows i mean where can you buy hot dogs (laughs) (laughs) not the at&t store um but yeah uh bonus you know here's another way you could save money i would recommend investing there's robin hood there's different things um yeah. Um, here are some things that I've personally invested and successfully profited from. You guys ready? Let's hear it. Yeah. Hmm. Um, elderly Halloween costumes. Now it sounds like a niche. It sounds like too specific, but you know, Donald Trump is considered elderly, so it's <laughs> an easy investment. Uh, cold dogs. Um, so I've invested in you know <laughs> Siberian huskies. Um, and man, do people want those dogs during Christmas? It's cuddle season. Um, Hot dogs, you know, we've been talking about hot dogs. You know, Oscar Meyer has got some great stuff coming out. Um, Snoop Dogg, you know, he, he he's invested in that as well. So that's a good partnership. Last thing I would invest in would be a giraffe, which <laughs> it's not it's not the kind you're thinking of. Let me let me explain. Um, so it's it's interesting because giraffe is kind of slang for like. Um, <laughs> giraffe, giraffe, <laughs> giraffe, 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 It's basically dinosaurs. You're investing in dinosaurs, Jurassic Park, um, <laughs> Land Before Time. You know these different d- dinosaur mm-hmm. companies. Um, but also giraffe covers giraffle at your school. So invest in the school sy- system. Uh. <laughs> Please go to the next slide. <laughs> hey. Thank you guys so much. I hope we learned something. Um, free the nipples. Uh, you know, 
and uh, go to the local postal, the local the local pole <laughs> store. <laughs> pole store. Um. Wow. I uh. I can say for one that I. I I think I could I could think I really I think I can make a budget now based on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Good I luck. I everything can... I learned in finance class and just like this is what I have to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Easy money. Um. Right. So, the next game on the list. My goodness, my gestures when I say things are so big. <laughs> I like swing my arms. The next game that we're playing today is called Good Old Character Clash. For the people that don't know, you should know already. But for the people that don't know, it's a game where uh, each guest, that meaning Eddie and Chris, choose three numbers from 1 to 70. And then as a result, they get a character with a weapon and an ability. They have to argue why their character would beat the other in a fight. It's that simple, but it's really funny. Eddie, give me three numbers from 1 to 70. All right. Thanks so much, Sammy Jimenez. I'm going to pick number five. I'm going to pick number 26, and I'm going to pick 61. All right. 5, 26, and 61. That means you are the Joker. And you are the Joker with not just the Joker, but the Joker with a chainsaw. And not only that, but you used to be friends with the – used to be best friends with the opponent. So let me oh. just that in here. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's going to make things interesting. Okay. Uh, Chris, why don't you give me three numbers? One to 70. 42. Mm-hmm. Uh, 37 and 69. 69. All right. For, <laughs> uh, okay. 42. <laughs> 69. Uh, moment of silence, please. Moment of silence. <laughs> uh, okay. Chris, you are a sniper, mm. um, and you have a you are armed with a gun that I quote shoots guns. Oh um, yes, and you can't tell time. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna put this in the chat so you guys can see it. Um, this is gonna be an interesting one. Sometimes we have some lineups that don't look promising, but I'm excited about this one. Just to recap. Eddie is the Joker with a chainsaw who used to be best friends with the opponent, which is Christopher, who has a sniper with a gun that shoots guns, but he can't tell time. Eddie, why don't you start us off? And uh, Christopher, you can jump in at any point to (laughs) rebuttal or refuse what he's saying. I wish I could do the Joker's laugh. And if I tried, I would sound like uh, probably kink. So anyway, um, (laughs) Listen, your boy's the Joker. I've got a chainsaw. That's bad news for anybody in my path because I just don't give, and I don't know if I can cuss, but a flying flute. Um, I can. I can or can't? You may, you may, yes. Oh, I don't give a fuck, Chris. I'm coming after you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm the Joker. So when's the last time you ever seen me be still? So good luck, sniper. Um, (laughs) And honestly, you'd be doing yourself a total disservice because sure, you're a sniper. I bet you're a badass one. You probably play Call of Duty. You probably, you know live in your mom's garage it's cool it's not a big deal but also (laughs) you're shooting guns at me boy so you're shooting a gun at me that i'm just gonna pick up and shoot right back at you bro this is what uh, you don't know i am a sniper so it doesn't matter how far away you are i can still try to snipe you i have (laughs) infinite guns i can shoot myself guns i can shoot myself a mini gun if i wanted to (laughs) got a point yeah but listen to this listen to this you're gonna try to shoot me and all of a sudden you're gonna be like it's five in the morning because I don't know what fucking time it is. And uh, I've been here for fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, but you you, you've got you've got issue. You don't even know what time it is. You forgot it's your mom's birthday. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Okay, I'll, I'll give her a gun. <laughs> give her a gun. <laughs> what happens now, Chris? It's your mom's birthday, and where am I at? Your mom's birthday party. You fucked up, buddy. You did. It is nineteen oh five. I'm shooting myself. <laughs> I have. Inf- I can snipe you from a mile away, boy. Doesn't matter. No, but you, I'm you at your are. mama's birthday party. So what are you gonna? You're gonna shoot somebody at your mama's party? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna do that? You're gonna be that guy? You're gonna be that son, Chris? Oh no, my you're my mom appreciates guy. what I do. She understands what I do. So it doesn't matter. She's seen people fall dead right in front of her before. <laughs> it's been like but that for shoot. 24 but days. You know what's crazy <laughs> about that though, is your mom <laughs> wouldn't be okay with that because we grew up together. We were best friends, Chris. Oh, that's right. Huh? 
we were best friends and my mom <laughs> and your mom were best friends and your mom raised me like i was one of her own she loved me oh, and you're gonna God. do that to her you're gonna do that to your mom Okay, okay, that, 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 that was 19 hours. <laughs> <laughs> like how his mom Chris, became Chris the Chris is like, boy. fuck. That, that was gonna... 19 hours ago. We, we don't talk about the past right now. <laughs> You're going to do that? You're going to really do that? You're going to ruin your mom's birthday? Look, You're it's, ruin it's been that? one nanosecond since that happened. Like, let, let's focus on the present <laughs> day, like two, 20 years in the future. We're going to focus on the present day. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, just, it's, hard, it's hard for me to, it's hard for to, me to wrap my this. head around. <laughs> it's my job uh, to do this. <laughs> Yeah, but do you, are, is it worth ruining your mom's relationship with you? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just asking for a friend, maybe even an old friend. <laughs> Look, my mom will support me in whatever I do. She knows <laughs> I, the sacrifices I have to make. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, Chris. It's 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 hard for me to really wrap that around me. You know, me and your mom, Mildred, have been close forever. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, back when me and you first met at the 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 local poll, and it's just been it's been uphill ever since. And all of a sudden, you know. You know, you, you got obsessed with guns, and I couldn't do it. You know, it, it was a sad time in our friendship, and I get that. Uh, but I was addicted to the chainsaw, man. And uh, I thought that, you know, we could, we could be something special. But you, want, you went your own oh, way. You were, stub- look, you were I stubborn. Wanted, I wanted to get you into the gun business. I invented a gun that shoots guns for crying out loud. You know how much we can make off of that? When we met, like, 24 months ago, that was okay. Like, that's the past, man. I tried to get you Chris, into this business. You were focused Chris, on your problem, chainsaws. The, the problem is you just got you got caught up in the money, man. And I wanted to stay and take care of our family. I wanted to stay and take care of your mom. I wanted to, I, I've been investing in trying to get her a new house for her birthday. And and uh, I don't think she would appreciate blood splattered all over her face from her kid that she raised. <laughs> oh, because please, I can just a, shoot a money gun. A money issue. I can just shoot out a money gun, like 15 of those if I can. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's, you know, it's okay. If you want to take this one, you can. But I just want to let you know, uh, happy birthday, Mildred. This is the perfect way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eddie, what you're saying is that you are willing to die if he is willing to ruin his mother's birthday. Yeah, if he doesn't, the biggest, the biggest thing is my my ending statement is going to be this: we were we were close one time, Kimasabi. We were friends. We were uh, comrades. We you know we we used to game together. We were, we were ride or die. And then you let the money consume you. And now I got stuck at home taking care of your mom and my mom and our families while you uh, went and played with guns uh, like a little Nino. Um, Nino. <laughs> that's a, it's, a, it's okay. It's okay if you want to do your thing, but you know, uh, at your mama's party, you lost track of time. You forgot, um, which is okay. You know, you have your own issues, but, uh, oh, you know. Look, man, that was 36 <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> We're not focusing on my you- problems. <laughs> You keep saying 40 years ago, 12 days ago, four minutes ago. You don't even know don't where know you are. The, I don't know where I am. You know, what's crazy, though, is you forgot to take your medication. Because uh, you can't tell time. And uh, you, you're feeling a little woozy, aren't you? I'll probably you're just feeling a little lightheaded, aren't you? You're feeling a little lightheaded, aren't you? It's okay. It's okay. I thought just you meant rest. he needs to take medicine to tell time. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to rest easy, bud. But it's okay if you want to, you know, I talked to your mom. And she wasn't okay with the way that you're doing your thing. So if you want to ruin your mom's party, then, you know, if you can live with that, you know, that's on you, man. That's on you. You know, well, how about this? Let's, let, me, let me propose a compromise to stop Ooh. all this right now. Is this the first compromise in the, I think it in is. The, in 150 in, decades. <laughs> What's that compromise? <laughs> Why don't we merge chainsaws and gun shooting guns? I'll make a chainsaw gun that shoots chainsaws. <laughs> no, I, I like the proposal, but uh, I'm too busy uh, eating mom's birthday cake right now. How about this? I'll be a stay at home son. <laughs> 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 I'll be a stay at home son. I'll still like produce guns from outside my basement. And <laughs> all right, so then, are you gonna come in? Are you gonna come into the house for the birthday party then? <laughs> yeah, sure. Where is it? <laughs> okay, you gotta help your mom blow up the cake. So are you staying in front of me then? Sure. <laughs> I start my chainsaw, cut your head off. There he is. I win. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the joker. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> I got him in the house. Woo! Yeah. You did get him. You got him Chris, quite good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chris. All right. <laughs>
It's like right. that. Uh, what, I don't know what movie that is, but it's the one with like Lenny, and he's like, "Just look over the water," and he like. <laughs> mice of men. Oh, of mice it's and men. Of, of mice and men. I'm like, it's okay. Victory Chris, Royale. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Ring. It's gonna be fine, Chris. It's gonna be fine. Ring. I had to read that book like for English class when I was in um what tenth grade. That would be American way of saying it. Sec- uh, yeah. Secondary four for us. Yeah, we had to read that book in English class and then watch the movie. Yeah, that was that was interesting. Crazy. Not a bad movie, honestly. That was the funniest part, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We've got a little bit of time left, so we'll do a quick one, all right? <clears throat> Eddie, give me three numbers. One to 70. Let's go uh, uh, 14. Let's go 53. And let's go 49. Okay. So let's see here. That means you are... Forrest Gump. Oh shit. <laughs> um yeah, not of third grade stuff. You have a you are armed with a high pressure poop pose. Oh, it's over. And 49. Uh you must move one limb at a time. <laughs> run, Forrest, run. It's easy. Are you kidding me? It's all I do. Chris, you gotta give me a second. Me I can only move one thing at a time. <laughs> three numbers, Chris. <clears throat> Eleven. Okay. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. And nine. All right. Easy enough. <clears throat> Chris, you are Obama. Okay. <laughs> um, you are armed with a truck. You just you have a truck. And uh, nine. You smell terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and just smell even worse, bud. <laughs> Can't do another. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why he smells bad. <laughs> All right, there we go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, and I'm gonna say you guys are fighting underwater. Ooh. Chris, take it away. Well, I wish I could do an Obama impression. That would be great. Okay. Listen here, you Tom Hanks look like. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm doing a Western accent at this point. <laughs> Listen here, you Tom Hanks look like. I have a truck. It can drive underwater. That's how I dance this truck. <laughs> I think that's called a submarine, Chris. <laughs> not how, that's not how trucks work, Obama. A special kind of truck that doesn't look like a submarine at all. There's no storage in the back. <laughs> well, not that kind of truck. Doesn't matter if I smell terrible. I'm in the ocean right now. <laughs> I'm still in a truck, though. That doesn't make any sense. There's an air freshener in here. Don't worry about it. I will be able to run you over before you can even move a pinky toe. <laughs> you listen here. Hear me? You you can't even run me over, Obama. I have to, like, move my lips <laughs> one by one because I can't even fucking... <laughs> um, listen, bud. Listen here, bud. <laughs> Oh, no. You ever taste shit? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, good luck trying to do anything because I can move faster than you because trucks can't drive underwater, so that screws you over. <laughs> All the fit, and you smell terrible, and you smell like, and I don't know, something a shark would probably want to eat. So uh, all I got to do is get out of the way, and I can use my my high-pressure poo pose to, like, and I don't have to move my limbs, right? I can use that to, like, move. It can pressure me around the water instead of having to... <laughs> I can just like travel via shit jetpack. So. Like Wally. He's yeah, the spider so extinguisher. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to be using a high pressure poop pose <laughs> to piss off all the animals around me. I'm fast enough to get away from them. They're going to eat you alive, son. Now, how <laughs> accurate do you think that's going to be underwater, fella? You, you think that's going <laughs> to propel you far? It's shit powered. What are you going to do? You can't even, you can't even <laughs> drive in the truck. I'll get out of the truck. I'll just throw the truck underwater to you. I have superhuman strength for this point. Wait, what? <laughs> We're just making shit up now? And that's the case. I can... <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking 40 feet tall. <laughs> um, Obama? I think Obama has to stay in the truck. Ah, oh, damn. Which, if you think oh, about that's... it, gives him a limited amount of time. Oh, yeah, okay. he's gonna toss I gotta toss that in <laughs> I gotta, I gotta high pressure myself up, over and breathe at the surface of the water. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep on blasting shit onto you, whether or not you can breathe or not. 
Um, I'm going to be hovering right over your truck. You're going to be, str- you're going to be riding the, the struggle shit bus. And uh, I'm just going to be chilling, man. I don't have to move my limbs even once. I can move my thumb. You know what? I'm, I, there's a force field around this truck. I can't get out. I'm restricted to this one seat in front of the driver's wheel that I have no control over at this point. The truck's now driving on its own. It's, uh, the, and the engine's broken at this point. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But when, once you come close enough to this truck, because we're underwater, it will electrify you. I don't care if that doesn't make any logical sense. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could Yeah, say. I don't know about that one. I'm still going to no, be shooting. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think uh, I'm not sure if Obama's going to make it through this one. <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a, I'm sure he's a great politician, but in, uh, in fighting, I think Force Cup is actually going to take yeah. this one. <laughs> I agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> because Obama sounds like he's going to be in some <clears throat> tough shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have to give that to Forrest Gump with the high yeah. pressure poop pose, even Let's though the pose go. is gonna have to be like miles long. Um, yeah, that's probably gonna have to be him. Anyways, uh, this is the Sammy Saga podcast, and uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, episode because. We we like doing this. Which one is your favorite, guys? Did you like this one more or Slide Ride? Just give me your thoughts real quick. Mm. Um, Slide Ride was good, but it was super random, so I didn't yeah. know what the fuck was going. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the entire point of it. You have no idea what you're talking about. You talked about yeah. hot dogs most of the time. I talked about duct tape, duct taping a bully to the local pole, but like still. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was good. Yeah. They're both fun. I I like the second one more because yeah, it's probably. like. Cause yeah, like, it's a little more it takes a little more creativity at least you have an idea of what you're doing but at the same time it's fun because you can right. just say the wackiest shit and <laughs> sometimes it has to make sense sometimes it doesn't right right yeah i was just like gathering a little intel from fellow podcasters uh once again this is christopher and eddie and i listen to the podcast it sounds great um and yeah, that's basically today's podcast. If you did like it, uh, please give it a like. If uh, if you hate it, then give it a dislike. I don't know. Um, did you guys have fun? Yeah, oh, man, that was fun. I appreciate you having us on. That's Thanks good. for having us. Yeah, it's an absolute blast. Um, and I will I will even say uh, a shout out to to Chris's podcast. I, I'm you know I, I listened to a couple of his episodes. They're pretty good. So check those out, you guys and. Uh, I'm excited to hear this one. And I'm, I'm, I about the like Eddie's podcast. I recommend you check his out on Spotify. Listen to it while you're falling asleep. That's what I usually do. And shout out to Sammy as well. Also a good podcast to listen if you just want to laugh. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I recommend both podcasts. They're both pretty good. Um, anyway, I hope. Thank you guys for coming on first of all. And I hope you have a great day. I'll tell you when this is up. Sounds good, man. Thanks. All right.